So you think that by me asking if uh, Garden City is a corporation is a silly question? No, but, but asking Garden City if you have to have a birth certificate doesn't make much sense. Why, why would you ask somebody that? Well, because I think it's a, it was a trick to get us to contract into commerce. <clears throat> You know, no since, idea what you're talking about, but, well, but if you if you get contacted by the police, you have to show identification, or if really? you want a business license, you have to show identification. Oh, okay. Where but does it? What that, statute says it? If you want to vote, you have to show identification. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. Well. See, like uh, Colorado Revised Statute 25212 says, a certificate of birth for every live birth must be filed with the state registrar, but it doesn't say that you have to fill it out. It just says that one has to be filed. So I think it's, it, I think it's kind of trickery. Why are you asking us that? That's a state issue. Yeah, well, here's the thing that I... I wonder about is as you're you know if i was to ride my bike with no light through commerce city which is a city and then a sheriff pulls me over and uh he wants to see an id and so now i mean how can he do that if that's a state issue i mean are you guys using state stuff to operate within the city so I'm confused as to you jurisdiction of uh, of the state and federal government in the local city. The, the city is, is uh, uh, authorized by the state to exist and given certain powers yeah, by the state. Yeah, they've been chartered, right? That's in some states they call it that, yes. Yeah, I mean, even all states have adopted the Uniform Commercial Code. What does that have to do with anything? Well, what I think's happening is that, uh, you know, yeah, there's a legal language, it's called legalese, and they use words that mean have different meanings, and I believe that what they're doing is uh, the powers to be, which are the international bankers, because, you know... We're indebted to them, and we ran out of collateral in 33. So, um, so uh, you know, we're under their power, you know, commerce. So what they do is they take words like uh, conveyance, and it may seem like maybe an ambulance or something in the English language, but in the legal language, it, it means... The transfer of title of property. Yes. So, you know, so how do I know when you guys are, when, you know, the government, the corporation is speaking English or legalese? I, I am just so confused. Well, I mean, I don't. Conveyance, conveyance is, if you look in the dictionary, it, it tells you both those definitions. One is not English and the other legalese. They're both English. Right, but there's also there lots of words that have multiple definitions. Uh, almost all words have multiple definitions. Well, yeah, I agree. Um, have you ever heard of the Black's Law Dictionary? Yes. You know, the word "person" uh, means legal fiction, and it also means corporation. It uh, could be. Yes. Yeah. Well, so what I'm what I'm trying to figure out is. How do I know what definition you're using when I come in contact with with uh, the corporation, also known as the government? Well, can't, I don't I don't know. You have to you have to figure that out from the context in which the word is used. Yeah. Well, I think I have figured it out. Um, I, d I think that uh, when you sign the birth certificate that you're willingly and voluntarily giving up your child and you're transferring the owner from yourself to the state, then the state creates a legal fiction by which the, the person gives up their sovereignty and they hand it over to the state, which the state now allows 
now the state has control of you, so you have to pay them taxes. And it's voluntary because you volunteered the contract. You're contracting with the driver's license, with the social security card. You're voluntarily giving up your rights and you're trading your rights for privileges. Well, I'm being run. I, I can't carry this discussion on any further, so I um, can, I can't help you any further. Um, for what purpose? Why? Is what? it is it out of your knowledge or I mean, just yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't. I have no idea. I can't yeah. answer. Your okay, question. well, maybe you might be able to answer this. Is uh, all the states have adopted the Uniform Commercial Code? So, in what purpose do we does uh, the state use that code? Is it strictly for commerce? You know, like corporations? Oh, I've never used it for. Okay, well, how do you determine between? A corporation doing business and and I know you explained that to me already but the with the language of legalese it could be very possible uh, it's very possible to to fit the government into a corporation as we know a corporation as a business you know and and it's pretty I mean, a lot of terms they use. I mean, they wanted me to fill out a, a request for service. I mean, corporations do services. You hire a corporation to do a service. And in fact, that's what all the language is saying in English. Municipal is a corporate, uh, takes on corporate um, uh, status. And then corporate relates to corporations. So, I mean, it could easily, very easily be transformed into the law of commerce. What do you think? I've never given it any thought. Yeah. Well, I've given it a lot of thought. Because, I mean, I didn't think it was right for there to be a language that the meanings were hidden from me. You know, I think that, that once a government, an entity, or anything starts hiding things from you and starts to withhold information that at that point the people that you're dealing with are are crooked and their fraud can be exposed. I've got to get, I've got to get back to work. All right, well, thank now. you, Don. I appreciate Bye. your time. Bye-bye.